We dealt with Lyme and Epstein-Barr and mold and fungus and candida and parasites and all the neurological problems that come along with Lyme. Yeah. And so I was very, very sick for a long time. And I just remember crawling on the ground at times, slurring my words. I couldn't even talk. It was like, you know, like my, my jaw, my mouth was slurring. I couldn't even remember my name. I couldn't even look at an astrology chart. It was really difficult. She said, what do you feel? Because you saw my face. And I said, it feels like as if we could be walking through silk. Like we all know what silk feels like, right? So if you're walking through silk, it's in the air and it's going into your cells. Um, but I felt like it was actually clearing me out and getting to a deeper level so that I can heal. Alrighty, so one of the reasons I asked you to come on live tonight was because the other day, first of all, over the past few weeks, you've been like, Jason, what are these colorful screens that you're always sharing on your story? I'm always and asking. I'm, I'm like, it's this really cool technology, the energy enhancement system. We, we did something really big with it, put together a unified healing network and all that fun stuff. And you went ahead, you booked an appointment at the energy room in Boca with Chelsea, who's an awesome woman. Yeah. And I want you to share your perspective because it's great to hear like from like me and, you know, big picture, like what does this do and all that. But it's even better to hear from people that experience it themselves with no connection to anything and just right. what did they experience. So can you give us a rundown big picture of your experience and, and what you felt sitting in that technology? Yeah, so this is actually great that you're interviewing me and asking me about this now because I even said, I actually don't know what it's about. I get the idea with scalar waves, but I don't actually know too much about it. So I'm not going in with all this research, assuming that it's going to do something and then feeling it because I know that. I actually was just like, don't really know, going to give it a try. That's what I do. I try a lot of things for health and wellness. Um, and so, yes, my experience, I went on... Um, I don't even know what day it was. I don't even know what day it is now. Last week, I went sometime last Saturday, maybe. I don't even know. Yeah, Saturday. And um, so it was incredible. The The moment I walked into the room, it felt um, an absolute shift. And I told Chelsea, I said, she said, what do you feel? Because you saw my face. And I said, it feels like as if we could be walking through silk. Like we all know what silk feels like, right? So if you're walking through silk, it's in the air and it's going into your cells. So immediately we were all calm. I was there with three other people and we were all calm. Um, and then um, she told us a little bit about it, right? But wanted us to have our own experience. And so mm -hmm. we just sat back and, you know, I do meditate a lot. However, sometimes, especially if there's other people around, it's hard for me to drop in. I, if I'm on my own by myself, we're okay. But like I said, there were other people in the room and I immediately dropped in so deep um, to the point where I woke up and I honestly traveled out of my body for a moment. But the point of that is I went into such a deep trance state, um, even with other people in the room. I was so incredible. I was so relaxed. I was so calm. Um, I actually feel like it's penetrating my cells it's penetrating my body on a deeper level. And for people who don't know my story, um, I have been dealing with some health issues that was contracted by my soul so I can learn and experience and also help other people um, and, you know, experience the, the duality of life, right? So I um, we dealt with Lyme and Epstein-Barr and mold and fungus and candida and parasites and all the neurological problems that come along with Lyme. Yeah. And so I was very, very sick for a long time. So I'm used to trying different modalities um, and I'm also very sensitive with my body. So saying that, I actually felt that there was a shifting. And, and do I know exactly what that is right now? No, I don't know. Um, but I felt like it was actually clearing me out and getting to a deeper level so that I can heal. And so anyways, going back to the meditation, I dropped in in the meditation. I woke up a little bit. I was like, I looked at my friend. She was like, her eyes wide open. I'm like, I know because she just went somewhere too. And then we drifted off again. And my other friend, Arash, who you might be on the call right now, he um, is not one to do a lot of meditation. And he was just like out immediately. And I looked at him and I've never seen him look so happy and calm and serene. And we were just laughing at him because he looked so 
um, so peaceful and so calm. And he's someone that's very logical in his head. So he's not as, he's not going to drop in so easily, right? He's going to ask a bunch of questions and he was just like already dropped in and so calm. So it was incredible that I'm going back. Um, I love it. We booked it for a private room. Um, I'm going back. It was, it was so incredible. And again, here's the thing. I'm not getting paid for this. I have no, I'm not an affiliate for this. I'm going back. I'm paying to go back. And I have done so many different modalities. And I deeply, deeply feel that this is going to move the needle in some ways that have been a little stuck for me. Between this and my amp coil, which is a pulse electromagnetic frequency device. Anyways, I think those two are the biggest game changers. I love that. I yeah. love that. Thank you for sharing. I remember yeah. when you first came in, I think it was also in my apartment with other friends also. They're like, what is that thing? And it's oh, yeah, funny yeah. because when, when you actually look at it, for anybody who doesn't understand what we're talking about, I wish I had one in this room to show you guys, but it's, it's pretty much, it looks like lights. I mean, it's lights on a screen being emitted. And I think what we're starting to now understand is that true medicine, and I have to be careful with what I say because I can't represent this as a medical device, but true healing comes from the manipulation, not in a negative way, of energy, frequency, and vibration because that's what everything is. And when you can start moving things on that level, by the way, Nikola Tesla said that the moment we start understanding things on the level of energy, frequency, and vibration is the moment we'll understand all the secrets to the universe. And they're not secrets. We're just looking at things the wrong way because we've been led to believe that everything is just physical. And what scalar technology is really doing is going to the deeper root of that and the higher dimensions of that and tapping into kind of who you really are, which is light. And it's working on light technology in a way that works with you to move that light. And that's where like the whole biophotonic light and biophotonic energy comes in where it's like, it's literally changing things on the level of your cells and on the level of your DNA, not in a way of manipulating it or modifying it, but in a way of bringing it back to where it needs to be. It's and the reason why about homeostasis, right? <laughs> exactly, Back exactly. And, and the, one of the, I mean, the things that I really represent, which is why I love this so much is because it's not the technology that's healing you. It's you that's healing you. Yeah. And, and you know how many, I mean, testimonials I've heard that say the same thing that you said of just this like deep meditative state of being able to drop in and be calm. I remember the first time I went in front of one, I just fell asleep because it, it knocks yeah. you out in a way of like, <laughs> it surrenders it's so cool. your nervous system so that your body can heal and that's what you know um a lot of these modalities that's what they do and that's what i learned when i had lyme you know i realized i had to take a step back and i had to actually lay in bed for months at a time so that my body could heal itself right and that's what and this is just you know in a way speeding it up because like you said we are light this is yep. sending scalar waves um it's it's bringing us back to homeostasis and it's amplifying what is already there, but has been, I don't want to say damaged. I don't know the right word, but um, out of order. Yeah. You know? like, and I don't mean order as in it's broken, order as in frequency. Like it's literally not. It's been like disoriented in a way. Yes. Literally. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. really what's happened. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a, a slight, like super simple background that I'll give also, because I see some people are like, what are we talking about? What's going on? And Danielle, you obviously knew about this somewhat from the start and before as well, but what this whole thing is and kind of how it started and where it's at right now is, is mind blowing and unbelievable. And so many amazing things are coming out of it as well. But basically to make a super long story short, in May, I was sent to interview this doctor who invented the technology that you're talking about, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. And I was sent by TLS, who you know from the disclosure interviews and all that. And I, I had a lot of resistance doing it in the beginning. I'm like, no, I'm tired. I'm doing too much work. And they encouraged me and they pushed me. They said, go and do this. This is good. A lot of people are going to be helped through this. And I said, okay, whatever, I'll go interview her. And they pretty much said, your job is to make this technology as affordable and accessible around the world as possible mm. and raise as much awareness as you can. I said, okay, you know what? Just leave me alone. I'll do an interview and everything's going to be okay. I did an interview. I put it out. Danielle, don't ask me what happened. But next thing I know, it went everywhere. 
and everybody wanted to open up a center. So then I said, okay, let's bring more awareness to all these centers. So I started this, the equivalent of like a humanitarian initiative, which you know called Unified Healing, to bring this to as many places around the world, pretty much raise awareness for these centers and then use the funds from the network to buy the technology and bring it into places that can't afford it. So February, we're going to India and we're donating a 24 unit system Wow. To Ashram in India, it's going to be the first ever of this technology that's going to be open to the entire world for free at no cost wow. to anybody. It's wow. unbelievable. And in five months, we got to 100 centers. We're just about to pass. We're at 99 as of this moment. So tomorrow, I think we're going to be at 100. It's, it's mind blown. But it happens because of the experiences that you're sharing. And that's why I wanted to invite you. Right. And that's why, um, that's incredible that it's coming to India and that you're donating it. That's just beautiful. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of people that are suspicious of these things. They don't understand. And, you know, I just want to say with anything in life, if you don't understand it, the best thing to do is do some research, have an experience yourself. Um, you know, not project onto other people. Um, you know, it's just, we, I do astrology for the people that don't know, and we are moving into higher states of consciousness. That's what's been happening yeah. visibly almost and, and, and in a palpable way since 2020, before this, but since 2020, it just exponentially. And with this is going to come new technologies that maybe they're old and ancient, or maybe they've been there, but they're ready to come out in the collective. So yes, have an open mind, try it yourself. It is actually so incredibly cheap too. It's not even that expensive. Um, I think it's like for one hour, I think it's what, $60. And that, so, was, that was part of what we did where we yeah. said, if we're going to do this, you can't charge more than $60. Right. For and this kind of healing technology and scalar waves, for only $60 when you go to some of people's co-pays to the doctors are more than $60 with insurance, you know? Um, and again, you do you, I'm not telling anyone to not go somewhere, but I think that we have to have an open mind and an understanding of there are other ways to heal our body than what we've been programmed and told. And that is an awakening that is scary for a lot of people, but it's a necessary one, one that's happening for humanity right now. 100%. And I think the, the most important point that we always have to remember is we heal us. There's nothing outside of us that can ever actually do anything to you because even if you use something outside of you, ultimately it's your body doing its thing yeah. to do what your body is always trying to do, which is like you said, bring itself into homeostasis, bring itself into balance, always strive, thrive, and heal. That's what it's always trying to do. So when you can put yourself in an environment that is balanced without all those hindrances and obstacles, yep. your body can catalyze that process of doing what it does best. So that's what this really does. It's not doing it to you, it's doing it to the environment and therefore in the environment, you're able to do so much more because our bodies are powerful. Yes. We're just in this toxic soup, so it stops our bodies from doing so much, you know, but yep. our bodies are unbelievable in the, in the capability and the power that it has. We are true cosmic bodies. And again, for people that don't know my story, I was crawling on the ground. You went through a major health crisis as well. Um, we both did, um, you know, without even knowing each other at the time. And it's unbelievable to see my body now. And I'm sure it's the same for you because from where we came from and, you know, people don't always know everyone's story. And I just remember crawling on the ground at times slurring my words I couldn't even talk it was like you know like my, my jaw my mouth was slurring my, I couldn't even remember my name I couldn't even look at an astrology chart it was really difficult so that's how much that we can heal and you yes I believe sometimes there is a medicine and there's a time and a place for everything absolutely but we have to understand that there is more than what we've been told it's what I said before and it's not the only way all the other ways have been dimmed down, have been hidden, and they're starting to come out again more and more. 100%. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing more of those modalities and just this knowledge really of our own power within us coming out. And 
I look forward to seeing you continue going through your journey. Uh, and wait, like I said, I'm going back on Wednesday. We rented it out because we have a group of us that are going and um, we love it. Like we actually might do an overnight as well. They do overnights there, you can sleep. So we're all planning to do an overnight at some point. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm going to join you for that one. <laughs> oh, that was but I just want to say one thing, um, if you don't mind, I yeah, add? Sure. because when I was there, I was getting a lot of downloads and yeah. um, I was going deep in and something that came through, I haven't shared this with my audience yet, something that came through that I felt and saw so clearly when I was in this deep trance state, it was, and I, I want to just end with this because I think it's going to be really helpful for people. Um, yeah, they were talking about me on something that I asked, but they were also anything that they tell me, they want me to share with the collective because it's collective energy and it's collective. Yeah. No matter what is going on in your life, no matter if you feel like you're broke, no matter if you feel like you gained weight, no matter if you feel like um, you're just not as successful as you want to be, you are worthy right now. And I want people to really take that in because that literally came through as if somebody was standing right here and just telling me with like a megaphone, you are worthy right now. It's the programs that we tell ourselves daily, which is not our truth. You are worthy right now of whatever it is that you desire in your life, but you don't think you can have because you don't have this or you don't have that. These are all bullshit programs and stories that you make up and this is what humans do. So it came through so strongly. It was like such a download for humanity. You are worthy right now. Stop getting in your way of all the shit. I love it.